What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have another tournament video. Now, I apologize if I don't sound as enthusiastic, because it's very early in the morning, at least for me. It's 9am right now. I'm usually recording at around 2, 1, or like 3pm, something around those lines. But, you know, the season just started, and I want to grind a little bit this season. I plan on, in like 2 or 3 seasons, to probably be going for the world record and trying to pass up OG. The reason I can't this season is because I traveled to Dallas for a Brawl Stars event, and the reason I can't the following season is because it's gonna that event is gonna carry on into the start and to break the record I do need every single day grinding so I'm gonna probably be going for it in three seasons but I want to warm up I want to be able to have a high season reset so I don't have to just go all out one season because that really ruins your game experience but with that being said we have these semifinals of the NA Open Week three as you guys know we won the first one and we lost in the finals a little bit because squash you reset. Uh, I mean, his Wi-Fi wasn't working and it kept resetting a little bit because of my play and jump grab, I, I pulled some questionable figures, uh, throwback to pulling Atara with a super, and yeah, we just lost to Nova in the finals. We weren't happy with that, so we went out for revenge, but first what we had to do was face these guys in the semis. Now, Alec, Runic, and Keith, all players for Tribe, all streamers for Tribe, you know, they're super, super good players. So with that being said, let's hop into the first game and let's see what happened. So the first game we're going to be playing is Siege, Nuts, and Bolts. Now shout out for the fact that Rosa is getting nerfed. Besides that, uh, Rosa is basically going to be played every game, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's going to be a game where she's not going to be played. So right there was just like a little bit of a battle between myself and Keith. We kind of just bomb rush that first bolt. Whoever can get the first bolt, we get that advantage. We knew no one would be able to kill the other person off the jump. So we see Keith is moving a little bit towards the middle, so I'm just going to be pushing him over here. I'm going to be able to take him out, but he's going to take in that star, or not that star, that bolt. And I'm, I'm kind of just standing here because there's nowhere Alec can go if I'm standing there. I'm kind of just trying to stall it out until I can get that next bolt. You can see Keith coming, and I'm just going to go back and pick up the bolt because I know nothing is going to happen to me. I'm too tanky as a Rosa, they can't take me down. So that's going to be the first bot for us. OG's going to grab the next bolt to move on, and we're going to have a 2-1. Well, we're going to be down 2-1 for the next robot. So we can see our robot coming in. The reason we picked Rosa, Carl, and Barley is because this is really good for control. The Rosa and Carl are obviously super, super good for picking up uh, the bolts, but the Barley is very, very lethal on the Ike. So we're going to have the Barley just shooting the Ike. You know, we're going in. I'm pretty low health already and the safe is low, or the Ike is low health so I just went in and I just continued to shoot it even though I knew I was going to die. So there's only 44% left so this is pretty simple, pretty easy on our end. All we have to do is take this. A little bit hard for Alex to be able to reach Jack right here as Jack's doing a really good job controlling his barley. You can see Alex going to go invisible and my job is basically just to stay on this Rosa and make sure the Rosa doesn't do anything to my teammates and my teammates can do the rest. Now I helped out a lot with Runic. And I charged my super, I went to the bottom and I was able to take out Keith. Uh, OG and uh, and Jack are doing a really good job getting Alec, even though they did whip a few shots there. They did a great job and now we're up 7-2 to two, and we're going to have a level 7 siege bot. So we're really comfortable with a level 3 siege bot, we were able to do 56%. So we're all just like, okay, let's just stay alive and we're going to be fine. The only threat really to Jack is that Leon's sneaking on him, so I was standing close to the Leon until the end when I knew Jack would be able to get him. Even though I knew Jack was going to stay alive, I still tried to stay on the Leon. And that's basically going to be it, Jack, myself, and OG are just going to be wailing at the safe. And we're going to be able to win this one 100 to nothing. So GG to them for the first game, star player goes to Jack. Let's hop into that second game. So here we go into the second Siege game. We're going to be playing on some assembly required. Now the comp that we chose, we kept Jack up Barley because he's a super good Barley. I stayed on the Rosa just because, you know, you love to have that Rosa pressure. And OG is going to go on the Leon. OG has been playing really good competitive Leon as of late. So we just threw him on Leon and we hoped things would happen. So I kind of just suicided over there. I kind of just suicided so I can charge my super. And I trusted the fact that my team was going to be able to hold position, but already at that point we were down 2 nothing, and they had really good position, so I knew that we were going to lose that first spot. So I kind of just wanted to charge my super before they could, and start to just really hold control by killing them and charging my super over and over. Good kill over there by Alec, and good pull over there by Nick being able to pull us, and we're down 4-1 to one right now. They're playing a really good game, doing really well, so so far this isn't looking very good for us. It's 1-1 one, one in the next bot, so it's already a tie. Plus the fact that they have the bot going on us. Our biggest threat is Runic, obviously, and Alex. So OG is able to take out Alec on the left side. 
and I basically just stand here trying to charge my super forever. I was finally able to get it off of Keith, and I just stand here on this on this uh, bot and wail at it, and it was able to do an entire 2%, so it was really good defense on our part. Now for OG playing Leon, you can see that they're pretty tanky, so there's not much that we can do against, or that, sorry, that he can do against their team. You know, we can, his sneaks usually when you go invisible with a Leon, you want to go on like a Barley or something like that, but he wasn't able to in this game. I was able to take out Alec and Keith with big help from Chepo over there. And it's a 3-3 three to three game right now. OG's going to be pulled again. So OG's clearly having a rough time. I kind of made a misplay there. I definitely should have picked up that gem, in, or that bolt, instead of walking to the left and trying to take out Keith immediately. The, although I did, I was able to take out Alec and pause the fact that they were getting a, a bolt. Although they are going to get a robot again. Now I was able to take out one of them, and I was able to get Nick really low. And Nick isn't really that much of a threat on offense. So OG's just going to kind of just take him out really easily, or at least try to. I'm going to be able to get my super, so I'm kind of just wailing onto the robot. You can see Alec was able to kill me over there, but I already did a lot of damage to the bot, and he's only going to get a couple shots off, and Alec is just going to be really easily taken out by that siege bot. So that was kind of a mistake on his end. Um, it was kind of obvious that he was going to die, so if I was him, I kind of just would have shot the safe. He probably would have done like 7% to it, which is more than nothing. I was pulled by Runic over there, but I was able to charge my super. And the fact that Alec died kind of get, allowed us to get some a little bit of position. We had some bolts that we weren't able to get. Also, the fact that they were able to open the map with the Frank led to their comp being a lot, a lot better. Now, I was able to use my super over there, and I was going to take out Keith, but instead I finished off on, um, on Alec. And over here, you can just see myself and Keith battling it out, but I was also able to take out Keith. So now the score is 10 to 7. Now 0 to 7, we were able to get two bolts at the very end. I don't know why they spawned that late. Like the bot is halfway up the map and we're still cashing in bolts. So I don't know why that is. Uh, Alec is going to use his super over there on me, but he wasn't able to finish me off. He, I don't know what happened. I guess he missed me or something. I had to stay back a little bit because I was one shot to Alec. But you can see uh, Jack is just going on the save. OG went down again. Oh, this is definitely not one of OG's best games, but you can't really blame him just because the comp that we're facing is just really bad for Leon. Myself and him are able to take out Keith over there, and this is a really good patient play by OG to wait till he's on the other side over there. A lot of people just would have sprayed and auto-aimed and hoped that they take down Nick, but OG waited, he was very patient with it, and he was able to get that kill on uh, on Nick. So we can see Nick has pulled, and what Nick's been doing constantly, just been pulling people in there, so I waited until I had my super. I just went at Nick, I activated my super, and then I was able to fall back and stay alive. So you can see it's a 10-8 game right here. Whoever gets this, the next bot basically wins. And you can see us going off, and I was able to distract Alec for long enough so that the bolt wouldn't cash in, and we would be able to get that lead again. So you can see Keith just spinning. He's like, okay, they got the bot, they're winning, it's over. They gave it up, and that's basically the game. You can see Alec is still trying, I don't know why. We're just going to walk up, I'm going to activate my super. I don't know why Alec was still trying at the end, it was very clearly over, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the game. We're just going to shoot the safe, and we're going to be able to take it down to 0%, and that's going to be it for the Siege set. So you guys know how it works, it's a best of 5 sets, and each set is a best of 3. So this is the first set, one to nothing. we're able to win. Let's hop into that second set. Okay, so here we go on to Brawl Ball Sneaky Field, so our comp is going to be Carl, Rosa, and... Spike and they're going to be running a Frank, Rosa, and Carl. Now the reason we ran this comp is because we were sure they were going to go Rosa and Spike is a really good lane here. You know, uh, if you guys play some competitive brawl or watch competitive brawl, you know OG loves to lane Spike on this map. So that's why we're going to be going with it this game. It does counter two of them, although a Carl does shred through the Spike. So we just have to have OG kind of ignore the Carl and try to stay as far away from it as possible and we're pretty sure we're going to be alright. So we have me over here on the Carl. Chepo on his uh, on the Rosa and basically what we're trying to do you guys can see how fast OG got shredded over there Is we're just trying to find people in the bush, you know, we're no we know we're there My super isn't too good and I don't want to charge people's abilities with my super unless it's like an opposing Carl So I'm mostly using my super for like a getaway tactic at this point of the game just because there's no reason for me to use it uh, I'm gonna be able to shred them pretty nicely here Jack went in and I used my super aggressively because I I knew we were gonna score so I get the ball, I pass it up to Jack, no one's in the net, Jack stands still, he tries to trick shot for god knows what reason, and he goes down. Now OG is furious in the VC, so you can definitely imagine how pissed off OG is right now, I'm kind of just chilling, I'm just like, oh well. 
He went for a trick shot, whatever. And you can see OG's going really aggressive. That was a misplay on his end as he's going to go down to Nick. I got Keith to pop his super, which is super, super important. And although he was able to take me out, I, I was able to do a good amount of damage to him as well as Jack was able to get his super and have a good advantage on him when it comes to the super of Rosa's and the Rosa battle. You can see Jack's just going to be able to take out Alec over there. He's going to do a little bit of BM. I am going to run into Keith and I popped my super and I kind of went into him because I didn't know how much health he had but then I backed up after. Again, OG is going to be taken down. I'm going to be taken down but we have Jack with the ball in the middle as well as he has his super. So he's going to be able to stall for a good amount of time. You can see Alec holding his super over there. 30 seconds left in the game right here and we don't have really good position. You can see again OG is just going to be taken out by Nick. And I'm going to be the last one standing. And there's Alec faked the shot. And there's basically not much I can do. Uh, I could have wasted my super. Or I could have just let him walk it in. And there's 20 seconds left. You know, there's not much time for us to score. So instead of playing passive like we have all game, we just have to kind of go in and just go for it. So Alec's able to get the kill on Jack. I'm going to be able to spin on Alec and be able to get that kill. Five seconds left. OG's going to pass me the ball. Three, two, one. And I'm able to get it in just in time. Time. So now here we go to overtime and you know, it's it's pretty close I have my super and every time I have my super I love to shoot the ball I absolutely love it. So I pick up the ball I walk through it and I thread the needle over there And let me tell you that got the caster is so pumped. I've never seen the caster so pumped He planted us. The defense is good. No, Bobby scores. It's overtime Over comes out with spike super still available car super still available super kick is available oh! He throws the needle Bobby with a big play, baby. Brawl ball is <laughs> the truth. <laughs> and it really made me feel good because I was able to thread that so closely. I was able to fake out by walking to the left, and then I moved someone's body to the left, and then I was able to get it in between them. So that was a GG. That was like a really undeserved win, to be honest. You know, they dominated us basically throughout the entirety of the game. They scored with 20 seconds left to take the lead, and then we got a really quick goal and then a quick overtime goal. So I definitely kind of feel bad for them over that one as we kind of we kind of stole that victory from them. Let's hop into that second Brawl Ball game. So here we go onto the second Brawl Ball game. We're going to be going with Pinhole Punt. Now we went with a very different comp that we usually run. Uh, we thought we'd be seeing a Frank and a Rosa. So we went with two, with two Tank Killers, a Spike and a Shelly. But instead we faced, this is kind of like a meta comp here, a comp that you see pretty often, but I still think we do pretty well against a Poco with this comp. So you can see Alec went a little bit aggressive over there, so myself and Chepo kind of went in on him. Uh, Chepo's going to pass me the ball over here as I have my super. I'm going to pass it up and I'm going to super and I'm going to try and take them out. We did do good damage to them, but unfortunately the Rose is just too strong. So we weren't able to do too much of the Rosa and we weren't able to walk in and score. So you can see myself and OG, we're kind of just charging our supers over here. Kind of just trying to make plays. You can see Chepo's going in. Uh, OG's going to get a good super off. Chepo's going to be in the net. And I'm just going to be able to take out Alec. And OG's going to be able to walk up and just put that ball in the net very easily. Uh, so we're going to walk up. It's one nothing for us right now. Pretty close game. Although, because their, their comp, it, to be honest, it's the better comp. But I feel like we do have the skill advantage in this matchup. Although they are good players, they don't really play competitive a lot. And competitive is a lot different than ladder. So you can see Keith going in over here. I knew he wasn't going to pop his super because I had my my super. So I just took it really carefully. I took it really slow. Didn't want to rush anything. I knew they were in a bad position. He passed it to Alec. I was able to get my super off on Alec and put the ball into the corner. Now you can see Chepo is going to pop his super over here and go on to Alec. And he's going with a lot of pressure. Now he's going to use his super again. The ball is going to go. Or I'm going to pick up the ball. And he's just going to be dominating Keith over here. So I'm going to be on that left side. I wanted to move up the left, but Keith is there, so OG's going to throw a super in the middle. I'm going to move up to the wall and just finesse that ball in between them again. Like, like you could literally call me Ronaldo after the Sprawl Ball set, but that was a really good goal and really good teamwork. All I really did was walk up and have a nice shot, but OG and Chepo went off there, so shout out to them. Star player to OG, he played really well in this game. Let's hop into the next set. We're now up 2-0, and let's see if we're able to get that sweep. So here we go, we're going to be going into the third set, we're going to be playing Heist uh, Corner Case, and I really hate this map competitively. It's just it's just not a good map to play comp with, it, it's not very good, it's, it's very rushed and it doesn't feel like a good control type map where you have to face off as lane, so you're going to see Keith rush us over there. Chepo's going to roll in and go to the save, so it's basically myself and OG on defense, OG running the Colt. He's able to get some good shots off over there, but... 
you know, the Carl just counters him a lot and he's not able to do much. You can see myself, I'm going to be on Keith over here. They're just going to be going in. Me and OG are going to be able to get some shots off. OG is going to get a decent super off. It's going to be able to get them low. It's able to take out Alec. I use my super to go in, but it's just not enough. It's just simple math. Three people could take out a save faster than one. Even though myself and OG were defending well, there's just nothing that we were able to do against the Rosa, Daryl, and Carl. So GG to them. That was our first loss of the entirety of this uh, tournament. But yeah, you know, that... That, that one wasn't really that much. Like, usually when we lose, we kind of sit back. We're like, damn, why did we lose? But that, that was just like, okay, we base raced, we lost. We weren't able to defend a miscalculation. Let's move on to the next game. And that's exactly what we did. So let's hop into that. So we're going to be playing split second over here. Now, I, this is one of my favorite maps. But you could argue the exact same thing as the last map. It's not control based enough, it's kind of just like a YOLO type map. But I actually really like this one. Um, I wouldn't mind if they took it out of the game. I saw I saw a lot of people want it out of the game, but to be honest, I think it's good because it's the one map where Daryl really, really shuns. You can see a really good super over here by OG. He was able to get them both out. And you can see Jack, you guys know, you guys just, you know how good Jack is on Nita. So you're gonna see Jack taking his time and be able to take out Nick over there. They see the fact that I have super, so they're going to play it a little bit defensively by Alex staying there. I'm going to be able to kill Keith, and this is the point where I feel like we played this super, super well. So they're waiting for myself to super, and they know that the Daryl's going to super as soon as they leave. And if they walk up, they have to come all the way around this side to be able to defend me. So they can't go up. They're saying, Keith, stay there, blah, blah, blah. And I'm kind of just in the mid. Alec is kind of chilling back there with Anita countering him, so he can't do much. And although I want to go in, I know OG is just absolutely going to be able to shred the safe. So I'm just here kind of to protect OG. I'm just going to shoot the safe a little bit, although my shots don't really do that much. Uh, you can see Runic is on OG. And my job, again, is just to defend him. So you can see Nick is going to be able to pop his super over here. I did have a little bit of a late super, but I went over to protect OG. And my super doesn't really matter just because I recharge it fairly quickly. And I got a few shots off over there, so it's not going to take too long for it to charge. I'm just going to walk right back up. Keith's going to follow me. After standing back there for like a minute, I'm going to be able to get my super back fairly soon. Again, because it's a Darrow and I'm just recharging. So I'm going to walk up. I'm going to get to the other side of that pond. And I'm going to be able to take out the safe. And that is going to be the end of the second heist game. So now it's one to one in the series. If we're able to win this one, we're able to take home the semis and move on to the finals against the opponents waiting for us, Nova Esports Purple, who beat us last time. Let's see if we're able to get that dub. So here we go, the third game of the third set. This can send us to the finals. We're gonna be playing against, uh, sorry, I don't know what I was about to say that name. So Rosa, Pam, and Carl. That's just such a meta comp, that's so tough. OG wanted to go Colt. And although I didn't think Colt was best for this map, he's shown time and time again on this map that he's a Colt to be wrecking with. So I said, okay, like we were fine with him going Colt because he's been playing Colt so well on this map. I was able to actually take keep two, in the, two of them back even though Jack went down so quickly. Alec is going to have OG push back really, really well and there's not much OG can do at this point. Chepo's going to have to focus uh, Alec with OG, but even then they're going to take a lot of damage together. They're both going to be really low and I'm kind of just keeping, keeping Keith at bay over here. He's not really able to move up. Um, so I'm going to be able to start shooting Keith. I'm going to pop my super and start to hit Keith. He definitely popped his a little bit late. I don't know why. So me and him are just having that annoying Rosa battle. I was able to take him out as well as OG was able to clip uh, Runic. And I was able to take him out towards the end. I was able to stay alive during the Alec, uh, Alec spin. But he's now going to be on the safe going at it. You can see Keith kind of just walked by. And I was able to charge my super against Runic. As well as finish him off. So I'm just going to go up and go to the safe and trust that my teammates were able to defend. But unfortunately, the Rosa was just too much for them. I'm going to be on the safe. I pop my super thinking Nick is going to come towards me, but Nick is just going to totally ignore me and go to the bottom. So while I'm standing here doing damage, they're pushing uh, they're pushing the safe really hard. And, you know, there's not much they can do. Again, just like corner case, we, we had a misplay as I played. I, I, I went up into the aggro and three people rush the safe better than one person does. So they're able to get that win. It's now 2-1 in the set, so we're going to move on to what I believe I think is Bounty next. And let's see if we're able to take the Bounty set and move on to the finals. So here we go, on to Bounty. We're going to be playing on Excel as the first map. I actually really enjoy this map. 
Although competitive bounty I find really really boring just because of the fact that you kind of just chip away in such a low like scoring game I want to say. The scores are always like 5 to 4 at the end. And especially on a map like this, this map is very very passive. You just don't want to charge the other team super. It, it, it's just not that good. I, I don't like it in competitive on ladder. I find it a little bit fun, but it's just not my cup of tea competitively. So you can, I'm really close to super at this point. I'm just trying to get one hit on Alec, but he's playing his walls really well. I was able to just chip away at Keith, and the gene, the gene pull just means so much on this map. The gene pull makes or breaks if you're going to get it. So I was able to pull Alec really quickly. I don't like holding onto my super for long. Just because I'm already more than halfway charged my super and Runic hasn't shot his super yet. So you just got to be really aggressive with your gene super in my opinion. That's a lot of people's biggest mistakes. If you miss one, it's not the end of the world, but you're going to get it back before the other person uses it. So you can see I have my gene super again. Runic is going to walk up and I'm going to be able to pull Runic over there. And as well as get the kill alongside the help of Jack who was able to take out Alec at the start of my last pull. And again, there you go. I have my third pull before... Runic uses his third so you can see I'm going off like I, I miss but I don't really care that I missed because Runic is just you know he's really defensive he, he's just not using his super and again that's the mistake of a lot of people I was right in the middle over there like six tiles away from him if I were him I would have pulled that in a second I wouldn't even have thought about it you can see Keith and Jack are going at it Keith decided a little bit late that he was going to pop his super Alec is going to be going on to me but Chepo is going to be able to take about as well as be able to take out Keith who recently just wasted his super again I'm just going to be standing in the bushes I knew Runic was moving up. I guess he knew that I used this, that I had super because he was able to juke it pretty well. But again, I've used four supers before he's used one, so it really doesn't matter. Um, at this point, we're being pushed back over here because they're going super aggro and we don't want to die. Runic finally pulls and Keith was able to take me down. Jack's going to be able to get Alec. I'm going to pull Runic at the end and that's going to be the end of the first bounty game. That one was just pretty pure just domination on our end. I was able to get five gene pulls when on average on this map you use like two, so that was really good. Chepo obviously played really well, and OG was able to keep Alec at bay, which is basically our only threat that game. So one nothing right now in the uh, in the bounty set. Let's hop into the second game and see if we can end things there. So here we go. We're going to be playing on dry season, and they're going to be pulling up with the Rosa. We knew that they were going to use a Rosa, so we also used it. Um, I was going to use a Brock instead of a Jean at the start, but we decided that the, that the uh, the Rosa would be really good just because we'd be able to get that first star. And then we, they'd have to come to us, and I would be able to charge my super. OG, obviously a really good Piper, would be able to get some kills. So that was the goal for this upcoming game. So Rosa is just being tapped by OG. They're able to stay back. Myself and Nick are just in this annoying battle where we kind of just chip whatever we can and just hit a bunch of 233 damages until we get our super, which is the most annoying thing in the world. I hate doing that. Alec gets some good taps on OG. OG is one shot. Um, Alec is also one shot. I was able to charge my super a little bit off of him. So again, we're just doing some damage over here. Not much. We don't have to be passive at all just because we have the first star and they're not able to kill us. OG was able to triple tap Keith, but unfortunately he did it from really, really close up. So he wasn't able to do too much damage to him. Again, me and Nick, we've just hit the minute mark of us standing here. Just trying to charge each other's super, which is why I didn't want to play Gene. This is the most boring thing in the world. Not very skillful at all just to stand beside a wall and charge super, but you can see Nick was able to get a super beforehand just because Chepa was able to charge his a little bit. And I'm pretty sure I'm one shot at this point in order to get my super. Yeah, I was. So I was able to get Alec. I was one shot from it. And you can now see myself and Nick both have a super. I'm just going to stand back here. I'm not going to use my super until I 100% know I'm going to hit it just because we're in the lead and I don't want to just pull it. It's different than, being, than having it at the start of a game and saving it until the end. So you can see I'm just standing over here. You can see Nick's coming down with the super being protected by Rosa. So I'm not able to use my super because the Rosa is in front. OG is being really aggro on Alec over there. 15 seconds left. Still nothing has basically been done. You can see it starts to have a little bit of pressure over here. OG on the side. Chepo is going to be pulled. I'm going to be able... He's going to go down. I'm going to be able to pull Keith. Kill Keith. And OG is going to be able to kill Alec. And that is going to send us to the finals. It's annoying little 5-2 game in which I hate but that one's going to send us to the final so GG's to the other to uh Keith Alec and Nick you know they're good players we seem to I seem to play them a lot like literally every single tournament I seem to face them you know I just faced them in PBL I believe yeah I did so I'm really facing them a lot competitively and I can see they're getting better and better within each game so GG's to them uh that's going to be it for today's video obviously we made it to the final so the finals are going to be out tomorrow for you guys 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video tomorrow. And if you guys enjoyed this, you guys already know, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and comment down below if you guys enjoyed it. But that's going to be it for now. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.